I'm going about my business. And he's like, yeah, a lot of women are really into it. He's like, you know, do you want to? I'm like, no, <laughs> not at all. I've heard like, I've heard New York has those weirdos. Hmm. Yeah. 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 Oh my God. And they're like, persistent was, uh, too. <laughs> and he just weird. like, he wouldn't, wouldn't let up. And I was just like, okay. And finally, like he gave up after enough time. Um, and I was like very, very tolerant at that age too. Like I was very like, you know, okay. Like the world around me, I was like 19, you know? So you didn't like, you know, like, it's a harassment motherfucker. Get off. No. My- Cause he wasn't, he, he kept his like distance and it wasn't to the point where I was like, and like I said, I was very like tolerant and like, I was very kind of like seeing where things would go. Um, and it didn't like now if that happened, I'd be like, get the fuck away. Like, this is not happening. Like you need to go like very far away from me right fucking now. Um, <laughs> But like, then I was like, okay, like, you know, is this, you know, this type of personality I've never encountered before. And um, so finally, like after, you know, this long like explanation of how great his giant dick was, I'm like, that sounds painful. I was like, that sounds like too much. I don't want to get involved in that. I don't know where you're going to find somebody that does, but from what you're explaining to me, like, no, I am not looking for horse dick, like not today at all, maybe <laughs> ever. Like, so that was a very like weird, uncomfortable um, situation. And I just kind of like segued out of it miraculously. So that would probably be, that's like a different level of weird. There was like the disgusting, like harmless weird. Right. And still not ever going to call you again. Um, and then there was the, oh my God, stranger danger. <laughs> but like naive, like 19 year old me was just like, oh, this is fine. You know, like, okay, this person will go away. They're just, you know, they're shooting their shot and like, <laughs> like, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll go about their fucking business here in a second. So oh, man. that, that was probably the like, victim, basically. yeah, it could have ended so much like, like looking back on it, I'm like that could have ended really badly that like, kind of like thinking about it, like, as like being like almost 31, I'm like, okay, that's like rapey vibes. Like that could have ended terribly. So, yeah. So that would probably be at the top just because it's kind of dangerous and concerning. The other one is just harmless, weird, and kind of gross. Okay. <laughs> Decor, what about you? <laughs> uh, to be honest, I haven't really had any weird things. I have weird encounters, though. Okay. Weird encounters. Weird encounters. Like, uh, like New York. I was in New York, right? Me and my <laughs> cousin we were drunk walking down the street, and this guy, and it's like, what well, we thought, what well, we thought, you know. Not, I'm not homophobic or anything. What we thought was a woman I was walking down the street and it's like, oh, it's black guys. And I had like, I had like, I don't know, we just had on like regular clothes. It was black guys. And the person literally lifted up the skirt and told me he was dick and balls. I was like, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> you eyes, can't unsee like, that. No, you can't. Like, it's a nightmare. Like, I think about it sometimes. Like, oh, this person just, ugh. you know, okay. it just like, threw me off. The thing is, like, for me, it's, like, kind of, like, even, well, I wouldn't say it's normal, but, like, I've seen it so many times that I'm just, like, you know, you just, like, I think, I, I think, remember the first time when I saw this kind of behavior with, like, you know, flashing you flashing. down, I was, like, I was scared to my death. I was, like, 13, and I was just, like, walking in my own neighborhood, and I was, like, ugh, gross, because it, it was, like, also, like, grandpa, and I was, like, oh, which also concerns <laughs> a lot, because it's, like, pedophile kind of vibe well not even kind of it's just vibe vibe like that you know like oh so like showing oh it was disgusting though I do remember like the other one it's not about dick though but in here like in Portugal uh, me and my friend were like going out good times we were going out anyways uh we were going out and we we're like all dressed up like super extra and we're walking down the street and obviously like we speak english to each other so like all the people around like in the city center assumes that we are foreigners which yeah well i'm not a tourist anymore but anyways so basically uh every single time we like walk by at least one bar or like shady street they're just like you want some cocaine and it came like she was just like my friend was laughing and everything and I, I it irritated me I was like I stopped and like do I look like I do cocaine I was like they're just like oh shh, shh, don't like I was like don't offer me that and like it's like I don't look like I do cocaine stop offering me like you know I was like well, but then I, I was like is it free <laughs> just in free? case just in case yeah. but just, uh, you know, like me when I was in Croatia a weird encounter like everybody just started coming up to me it's like Where's the weed? You got weed? I'm like, nah, bro. Like, it's like some black. You think I got weed? Yeah. 
it's, it's a lot of weird things that happen, you know. And some of these people are just hella weird. This dude was just like, you got any weed? Like, I was like, yeah, are you on drugs, fool? He's like, yeah, man, but I need more. I was like, okay, yeah, no, I don't have He's honest. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, he was honest about it. Funny <laughs> stuff, um, like. I remember one thing uh, about uh, us, like the same night we're going, everybody's offering us cocaine. I remember it was the end of the night and we like had a hell of drinks. We were the loudest one and we were talking about like dicks, pussies and everything. It was like very like kind of extra loud. But um, Mm -hmm. I remember in the end, I'm like turning around and I literally see like a line of dudes, like literally like a line waiting for us to like, finish our drinks and leave the table so they can approach us it was like oh that's so no it's like it's flattering but it's weird (laughs) yeah it's like kind of like you know like you in the supermarket you know waiting and like everybody was like and they did come approach us and we're just like no haha like no thanks no thanks (laughs) this is about (laughs) (laughs) i was like okay that's that's weird I could say something that's like weird that I used to, well, I, I was in, I was involved with it when I was younger. Like when we used to go out, um, when I lived in Washington, DC, we used to go out and like, it'd be like a line of dudes. Like we we're all in this one line. And when girls walk by, we'd be like, hey, 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 <laughs> like oh, catcalling. <laughs> you did not. I, I was in that wall and then I started looking, <laughs> I, I, you know, I stepped away from the, the line. I'm like, yo, why are we doing this? You know, <laughs> it's oh, weird. Did anyone ever respond to that? sometimes yeah <laughs> no i'm pretty yeah. sure like if, if maybe if we were drunker or the guys were cuter maybe we responded to like one of those who like approached us as well you know because like it's not a bad thing you know but like the whole like thing it's not just like two dudes and like two ladies it was just like seven guys you know like paired up and one was like very brave by himself but he was like he wanted us to promote his restaurant and we we're just like we're we're not influencers. We're just extra. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, I'm like, you'll get free promos. Yeah, but okay. But like, how do you spot a weirdo? I'm gonna take all the questions, Dick Corey. You got it. Uh, I think it's I think it's kind of that same thing um, from earlier like like it's hard to spot them you have like your your weirdos that can like keep it in until like that moment where that like that you realize that they're doing something that's off and it just doesn't seem normal and then you're like oh I'm uncomfortable now and then you can spot some of them from like afar like a good like really easy example of like spotting them from afar is like you see someone who's strung out on drugs like that is a weirdo to me I'm like I'm not gonna go over there they look like they're strung out on drugs that's not safe for me you know I find that weird so that's that's like my sort of gauge for it like I'm, I'm usually pretty open when it comes to just people and their different personalities and their different quirks but there is like a like a line like if they cross that line I'm gonna be like oh no (laughs) nope (laughs) Um, for me, I gauge people like I'll look from far, but then like talking to them, just like hearing about what they're saying and what they're thinking about. That's how I gauge us. That's how I spot them. Okay, what sometimes about you, weird women? I mean, that's a, you, you have to talk to them to gauge it. Like you, you wouldn't know until you actually talk to them. Because some people, like you said, whoever said it, like is really good to hide it. So you have to like talk to these right. people and engage it. Okay, you know? but what are the red flag for you? It's just like, oh, crazy. Podcast.